We're at a remote pond in Somerset County, Maine. It's a formally designated state heritage fish water. The, uh, this pond has been popular for generations. It's part of a chain of five waters, all wild native trout waters. The state heritage fish uh, program, unlike most uh, states wild trout programs, it's a law. Uh, once so designated, you can't stock these waters and live fish as bait is prohibited to protect these waters from invasive minnows. This particular water is the first water downstream of a recently infected water. Uh, the pond has uh, shiners, these shiners, uh, golden shiners, these golden shiners wreak havoc upstream and they're starting to affect this water and the, the long-term prognosis isn't great. But this is part of a, a project that Native Fish Coalition, Sportsman's Alliance of Maine, and uh, Fish and Game have undertaken to, to let people know where they are, what the laws are, what the threats are to these waters. Uh, they're a national treasure. No one has what Maine has. These are you know, 90% of the remaining wild native brook trout ponds in the country. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to hang one of these signs because the main chapter is looking for volunteers to sign up to help us get these signs put up on these heritage waters throughout the state. So when you're selecting the spot for your sign, you want it to be easily visible. Uh, we're standing on the trail. So we would select a tree that is close to the water, um, preferably in the shade so that the signs are not in direct sunlight. We want it out of people's way, uh, but visible when people go to launch their boats. And ultimately, it's the last thing that they're gonna see before they shove off, reminding them what they are and are not supposed to do um, to help protect these fish. So we give people a couple different options for hardware. By far the best choice, if you're in an area that, if you're anywhere other than the North Main Woods where we're required to use aluminum hardware, we wanna use stainless steel hardware and the best is to have a cordless drill. It's just a more secure connection. But if you don't have that, we have uh, nails. Just bring a hammer into the woods and that works too. So today we're gonna demonstrate the process with the drill. I'm gonna select my height. I like it to be about as high as I can comfortably get it so that it's not in people's way, but clearly visible. First, you put the top screw in first. And as you can see, I've left a little bit of room for tree growth, so it's not in there real tight. And then you let the sign hang, it self levels, so you don't have to worry about it, whether it's straight or not. And then my second screw. Now, what we like to do at the end is kind of strip out the head so that it makes it harder for these signs to be removed. So I put the drill at high speed. If you'd like to volunteer, visit us at www.nativefishcoalition.org. You can also adopt a pond if you have a favorite pond and you buy the signs for that pond. You sign the back of the signs with, your, with a marker and hang the signs on site. You can also purchase the signs for your own use. They look great in a camp or your fly tying room. Um, and all of the proceeds that we're raising through these adoptions and purchases help or go right back into the project so that we can buy more signs for the field. As Emily said, this is a, a purely a volunteer effort. 578 waters currently, we're adding waters every year. Some of these waters take seven, eight, even ten signs, most are one sign. It's a huge effort for a small organization. Uh, it can't happen without your support. Uh, we're looking at uh, one of the most significant natural resources in Maine. 578 self-sustaining native brook trout waters. They exist nowhere else. And this sign project should go a long way toward preserving these for the next X number of generations. The, once we lose one of these to an invasive uh, fish introduction, it tends to travel throughout the watershed. We lose multiple waters. If we can save even one water from an accidental introduction of non-native minnows, it's well worth the effort. So again, we thank you, uh, Sportsman's Alliance, Maine Native Fish Coalition, and Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. Um, we can use all the help we can get. Uh, this is a multi-year project, and by the time we get out the other end, we'll be back in the woods replacing signs that trees fall and they get damaged. But again, uh, we really need people's help, and we greatly appreciate it. Thank you.